Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 63 of Drea 1.3. Last episode, again, we were farming some queen bee. We explored a corruption biome a little bit. The one that I, I actually have not touched yet. And then I totally forgot that there's a whole other one over here. So while we didn't get the shadow orb yet, we might likely get it. There's got to be some more shadow orbs over there. So I, I have the treasure bag from the Eater of Worlds that we killed. And the three bees, uh, the three treasure bags. I think for this fight, since I'm going to be pounding out five kills, I'm going to quote-unquote waste the buff. I'm going to use it right now. Let's go ahead and just summon the next beam nation and get going with the fight. So I like to get some bees in here. They're useful. And she she's actually been doing quite a bit of damage to me. It's because it's we're tying fights so close to each other, I think, with, like, no break to heal. Come on, give me some more stars. Give me some more stars. Stay in this phase. No, no, come back down here. Uh, we also opened up the arena, obviously. That just makes killing her easier. Because that's less time she's, like, basically in the wall. Can't really do much about the her being in the wall vertically a lot. Because the higher I go, the higher she does. Which is really annoying. That's just, how, that's just how her mechanic works. She just always flies above you. I don't like it any more than you do. But it is what it is. She's already almost dead. She did a lot of the, the bad for her phase, thankfully. Dashing into her. We're in the last phase, I think. Yeah, she's going ham with the dashes. Okay, that's a bad phase for you, ma'am. She's going to die just now. Only 500 HP left. I'm, I'm, I'm selecting the B-Gun. That was really weird. I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't select the B-Gun. Down you go. And that'll be enough to heal me up to full. And obviously, I want to just keep the fights rolling here due to the fact that I am on a timer with my buffs. Oops. <laughs> Wrong item. Get the bombs off the hotbar. That's fine. I will I will live without the platforms. Go ahead and do this a few times. Get some water bolts going vertically. That B train, though. Look at them all going after. That's nuts. If you would stop doing this dash phase, it would stand still. You would quite literally be dead already. I'm missing out on some fishing quests, I do realize that. Uh, I'll, I'll live with it, I mean, I'm kind of bossing right now, I guess, for cash. Things happen. Things happen. Quests have been forsaken. I uh, got a few bees going, just so they're, they're buzzing around. Do you want to go in the correct phase? You did, but you, you went in the wrong spot. And you didn't stay in it for very long. So, I really didn't help me much. I should probably take a dip in the honey. Go ahead and do that. Cool beans. Okay, stay near the water bolts. Hopefully she goes back in them. Get some back down on the ground. And she only has about a thousand health left. And she might be doing the B phase. Yes, she's doing the B phase. That's good for me. I, I will dash in you, ma'am. I will take you head on. Come at me. Come at me, Toro. <laughs> How much health are you sitting at? 400? Just about to die. And that's all she wrote. No, I, I will kill you with dash. Or not. Two silver. So I actually get money off of her kill. Never really noticed. I will get rid of the lead. Precise, or specifically just for the bottles. They're obviously worth far more than a little bit of lead. Get some of these things down. I've got two minutes left on regen. And two minutes left on Iron Skin. So again, the faster I can daisy chain these fights, the better. Take a dip in the honey again. And I'm actually going to need arrows soon. It's been a while since I've stocked up on arrows, for sure. I bet the space is going to be faster for all these fights, but I'm not going to worry about that. Come on, do your B phase thing. No. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. She's like starting it. Where she just sits there. That's the phase I'm after. Eh! Nope. I dashed early. Nope. Dodging that one. I need to place these. I need to fix these platforms so I can dash easier. Go, 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 go. This is the phase I'm after. And she stopped. <laughs> you are a cock tease, madam. You are a cock tease. Anybody ever tell you that? All the dirty jokes while fighting her. I'm sorry, guys. Put up with my potty mouth. Uh, I want that mana star. Thank you. Oh, B phase. Oh, dash phase. Get out of the honey phase. <laughs> keep, 
keep moving, keep moving. B phase it is. Oh, give me the stars. Oh, okay, good, good, good. You stay right there. That's perfect. Stay right there. She is so close to being dead. 500. I look forward to opening these again. Just Even if I don't get the thing I'm after. The amount of money. Oh, it's so nice. And that'll take care of all the bees. 64 HP. She's, she's toast. How, much, how many bottles of honey do I have? A ridiculous amount. I don't have any more iron skin or regen potion buffs left. So, got to be a little bit more careful, I suppose. Only have two left to utilize. Two beam nations. Could make more if need be. <laughs> get it. But I'll hold off on that for now. Go get them, bees. Go get them. Go get them. God, they work They work so good on like any other boss but her. It's depressing. You just sit in the honey. Sit in the honey. Sit in the honey. Get that buff. Yep, that regen buff's going to be really important since I don't have my potion regen. And I need to be careful. I'm taking quite a bit of damage here. I am not doing as much damage as I would like to be doing either. Toro! Let's get some bees down. Watch those charges. Okay, we're doing okay. This is actually pretty close, believe it or not. She could really whittle me down if she wanted to. Keep getting hit by those stingers. B phase, which is HP and mana. Because you get the hearts from the little dudes. Oop, dodge that like a boss. <laughs> Water bowl for days. Oh, oh, B phase again. Good for me. Bad for her. Bad for her. How much is sitting at? 600 HP? Eh, she's about to go down. Just keep dashing. 200. Bye bye, Queen Bee. Bye bye. Oh, would you just get out of the wall? Get out of the wall and die. <laughs> Alright, so we are on our last last kill here. Last kill. Potion, or I'm sorry, poison, go the heck away. Just get rid of the vines. And who knows, maybe we'll find ourselves another meteorite over there. Just make sure you are still summoned, even though I think you were. I'll just refresh that just to have it. And let's get these placed. Okay, get some shots off when she comes after me. I didn't fix the platforms, and this is the last fight, but whatever. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Come on. No, get back down here. Get back down here. Stop trying to be above me. Superiority complex, ma'am. You've got one. Might as well use the last three of those. I'm going to get a whole boatload more when I open up all these bags for sure. Stay there. Give me the mech stars. Go. Go. Okay, this is a pretty quick kill. It's all about them phases. All about them phases. How many of these arrows are actually wooden arrows? All of them. Good. Had to check because if I get the, like, fire arrows or something silly, I don't get the actual the B effect. It has to be regular old wooden arrows. Okay, just keep these going here. Dodger. What are you at? 1k health? 1.1? Just about dead. Get some water bolt going here. Come on, water bolt, do your thing. I like how she's almost always on fire too because of the imp. I think so useful. Don't you summon bees at me? I got far more than you have. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, the bee jokes. The bee jokes are real. 200 HP. And if we can finally get out of here and go do some other things in the corruption. Take care of some business. Come on, just get your butt in the arena. There you go. Hey, another trophy. So it looks like I'm getting two trophies out of that. The The rate of trophies is surprisingly low. I mean, I've, I've killed her numerous times. I've only gotten two trophies. I'll just place the mud back here just so I have it there next time. Uh, okay, you know what? I said I'd fix the arena real fast. <laughs> Let's do it. I just put the, the platforms that I broke back down so I have it for later. At the very least, it won't be annoying when I'm dashing next time. Inventory is a mess, but that is okay for the moment. We'll be teleporting home after we go and break some stuff. Uh, is there anything I really want to get rid of? Not particularly. Mm, I don't want to get rid of the lens. I'm going back up this way because, again, the corruption is just right over here. 
rather than teleporting home first. Just see if I can make do with the stuff I have in my inventory. I should be fine. Yeah, I am going the right way. I don't usually go out of the jungle. I usually just teleport home. So this is this is kind of a first in a long while since I've done this. <laughs> this this feels surprisingly awkward trying to leave. Uh, it should just be the yep the big old straight line down. Gotta watch out for the meteorite up top. I don't burn myself on it. That stuff that stuff hurts, man. Five damage like every second. Not even every second, like every tick. That's ridiculous. And then you're then you're on fire on top of that. Alright, let's get up here. We're almost there. I'm so many fishing quests behind I realize that, but we should be okay. I just grab one of that rope, reset my boots. Fallen star. Shouldn't really gather those, my pretty gonna be full. I know I could delete these uh, bottles of honey. I might end up doing that just because Actually, I'm going to throw the Fallen Star on the ground. Uh, I might end up doing that because they're not worth that much in cash. So, that's my justification there. Now, I do want to go down and make sure that there's no more corruption here with usefulness in it. Because I didn't explore everything over to the left. Ooh, full moon. Hmm. That means I really should go home. Full moon being the fact that all the death weed's going to be out and about. That's a wee bit tempting. Pick up some vile mushrooms. The fallen star just went away, so I think the full moon's over. <laughs> so much for going home. Just delete the death weed. And there is another orb right here, so I will break that. And gotta remember, we're at our three again, so every time I break uh, three, we getting eater worlds. This is going to be the one out of three. And what did I get? Another vile thorn. I'm just gonna can the vile thorns. I'll need them in my inventory. You guys. <laughs> get wrecked. I could just dig over here. Why don't I? This is this is looking like it's going to be the bigger part of the corruption. Usually there's like a, a big chasm in it. And I think this is what I'm finding. Get a flare down so we can see. I would delete that one block of honey. Seems pretty useless. So there's one orb. There's a lot of demon altars over here. Which is good because again in hard mode, when I break those demon altars, every time you do it, it summon it spawns in your world the hard mode ore. So cobalt, mithril, and adamantite. And obviously there's the, the three variants depending on what, what ore your your world gives you. I sincerely hope I get adamantite. I dislike the way titanium looks compared to adamantite. It, the adamantite looks so pretty. Like the melee helmet, for some reason, that armor set is absolutely one of my favorites aesthetically. I love it. Okay, we're almost through here. And I'm actually just going to throw a torch down. This would be a good spot to fight Eater of Worlds, by the way, too. Just this long, narrow hallway for, for Water Bolt to bounce around. And we're going to break through and be hitting these dudes in the face. Okay. So we got through. There's one orb. There's two. So there is our kill. And there's going to be some more over here, but I'm going to have to dig my way over there, it looks like. Let's just check. I can blow my way down there. Giggity with bombs, of course. Ooh, shine potion. You bet your sweet bibby I will use that. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and toss these. Just to speed things up a little bit. Okay. I will also, just because this is annoying, put some bombs there. So there is there is one orb exposed and ready to go. This will open up the chasm. Just taking a look at see how, see how much we have left to go here before we hit the other corruption biome. We've got some ways... Hopefully that's just saving time. Get them flares down so we all can see. Imp will take care of you. Okay, I've got four bombs left. I'm going to go ahead and use two there. To make life easier. I'll use one here. And then one here. Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay, so there's one here. So, so there's these two. That's my kill. And there's one, two, and I don't see a third. That means the first one we break in the next biome is going to be our next kill. I gotta just make sure I keep tabs on that. Want things to get out of hand. Okay, so I will break you. There it is! Oh, it only took forever. So, now I have him. So like I mentioned, he is a light pet that follows me around. He's relatively slow, like I can really outrun him. But he is a source of light that I uh, benefit from. I would delete the death weed, I will keep the seeds. 
I know, some, I know it sounds silly, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to get full here. Uh, I'm considering canning a rotten chunks. I'm going to get rid of the lens. I'm just going to try to free up my inventory here. I can get more lenses later. I can get a lot of things later, but uh, just do that for now. So this will be the spawning orb. And how do I want to handle this? Do I want to leave this... I think I'll leave the tunnel open. I'm going to sit in that little tunnel that we dug and shoot water bolt down it. That's what I intend on doing. Deadly musket, obviously, we're far beyond musket days. Like That is good. That right there. I need him to be coming after me lengthwise, not not vertically. Okay, keep using water bolt here. This is working out way better. <laughs> the amount of damage ticks going on right now is ridiculous. I'm not even getting much water bolt bounce back because I was shooting it the wrong way. But, yeah, he's he's toast. <laughs> I love when things work out like that. Go ahead and make sure I get all the money. And I did get another loot bag from that. That's that's good. That's what I want. Okay, so now our counter has been reset. So now we got to count the orbs from here on out. And let's dig our way back down. And I do want to go explore that other corruption. I, I want to go see what that's all about. I haven't been over there yet. I really want to go sell this musket and all that loot. But, while I'm over here, might as well do it. <laughs> might as well break these things and kill them. Okay, so let's break this. Ruthless. I, I know I know it's ruthless. ruthless. Just making fun of the word ruthless. There's a long, stupid story behind that. I don't feel like delving into it. And hello! Are you kidding? Hello, nurse. Thumbs up to anybody who understands that joke or gets that reference. <laughs> Hello, nurse. I feel old. <laughs> There's a pyramid in this world. That's huge. I, I honestly didn't think I had one. Well, I will worry about that later. Let me, let me take care of the orbs. That's cool. That is really sweet. Thank you, Terraria gods. <laughs> Get out of here. Just beat the shit out of my pickaxe. No, don't beat me with your whatever you are. Your soft, squishy face. <laughs> uh, this is getting this is getting weird. Uh, let's just finish this here. Okay, next one. Next one is a kill. Uh, there is a way to kind of cheese the Eater of Worlds here with that ball of hurt. So say early game you get a ball of hurt and you don't have water bolt. What you can do, grapple yourself to the ground and grab your ball of hurt, throw it at the ground and just hold it. And it, it's dangling there. It, it, it will it'll just It'll basically just sit there. And he'll constantly run into that and do damage. And since you're using your grappling hook, you're not being tossed around because you haven't been in the dungeon yet. And it's kind of like a water bolt effect. He constantly runs through and all the segments get messed up. Really useful. So, pyramid. I I'm surprised we got one in our world. I thought we were I thought we had been forsaken. This is a super small desert. I can't believe one spawned here. This pyramid looks really small if you look at it on the map. This is this is odd to me. It seems like a really weird pyramid. I, I won't question it. <laughs> I'll be happy with whatever I get. Give me all that money, though, for sure. Now, worm tooth, get rid of that. I'll pop that swiftness potion. Get that money. Hey! The <laughs> the, so there's the pharaoh. It's real. There's the pharaoh stuff I was talking about before. I'm going to can a bottle of honey. I'm going to take the pharaoh's mask. The rest of the stuff can pretty much stay. I'm not worried about it. So it's just an aesthetic item. It's 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 pee ugly, in my opinion. But you know, like if that's what you want to wear, more power to you. I'm just not gonna wear it. Okay, so this just goes down into a pool of water, which I am not interested in. I want to go over to the other corruption. God, I love that. I love these. I love the dash combined with boots. Instantly get your full maximum speed back. Makes traversing stairs incredibly useful, or simple. In fact, what I will do, I'm not going to carry the sandstone with me. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in there. Rather than deleting it and making less of it in the world, just deposit it. Sweet! I <laughs> Surprise pyramid! Awesome. Alright, corruption. Don't let me down. Don't be a rink dink corruption. I swear to God, I was going to say, if there's an aglet in here, I'm going to snap. <laughs> now, all this time, there was an aglet right in front of me. And we spent all that time looking for one. Don't be another pyramid over here. Don't do this to me, game. <laughs> My heart can't take it. It cannot take it. Uh, blowpipe. Her bag is useful. I'll pop that potion. I will delete. I thought I had Ebstone on me. 
And now, <laughs> yeah, I'm beginning to think I should just go home, come back. Uh, yeah, he thinks that's a good idea. Just get rid of the musket balls. Hey, two of these guys in a row. That's odd. It's also cool. And drink this. I want the tatter cloth. Those two tatter cloths. Okay, so <laughs> I know we're right next to corruption, but my inventory is far too full right now. Let's go ahead and quick stack some stuff. Awesome. Anything else gets quick stacked. Anything else? Cool. Well, I can also get a fishing quest while I'm over here. <laughs> well, I guess we have to go back there. That sucks. It, now, it only says it's caught in honey. It doesn't say anything about... Okay, it does... In the description, it says the subterranean jungles of expert LP have the weirdest things. Like the fish I saw look just like a giant bumblebee. But it says caught in honey. Could I make my own honey thing? Would that work? I don't know. That'd be really cool. Uh, let's go put all the seeds and stuff away. We're going to get a lot of money here. We are going to get... I kind of said roar there on accident. I don't know what happened. But we are we are about to get a lot of money from these bags. And we're about to get a lot of loot. Miscellaneous loot from these herd bags. So let's go ahead and just quick stack all this stuff here. Fire blossom seeds. Gimme, gimme. Okay, mushroom. I'm going to go ahead and just can you for the moment. I didn't have any room. Oh, why did I? Oh. That's right, I don't have any fire blossom seeds in the chest. Because I don't even have a full line of them. I think we might end up having a full line now. Awesome. That's huge. Let's head home. <laughs> Old home. And I do have trophies to slap down. Can't exactly put it in here with the way the torch is placed, can I? Let's put a torch over here. There. Now you can have a bee trophy. You can almost have a bee trophy. Almost. You could have a B trophy. Wait, you can have a B trophy. B trophy for you, sir. B tro uh, what do you also what do you have? Uh, El Eladon? Nothing I need. Damn it, Eladon. Why you gotta be so useless? Eladon, you suck. Uh this is useful. That band of star power. Okay, I don't have any room for shadow scales, it appears. Nope. I could use them though, and go by this furnace, and then smelt myself some bars. Oh, that's right, I don't even have the furnace over here anymore. <laughs> Terp. Can I make one really quick? No. Since I don't have stone. Let me just open this. Can I, now can I make one? What am I missing? What am I missing? Am I not close enough to the crafting bench? There we are. Let's slap down a furnace. I know I have a health forge at home. I'm just gonna do this. This is gonna save. This is gonna compact my inventory a little bit. Make some demonite bars. Just hold on to the stack. Oh, I don't go over 99. Quick stack. All right. Shadow scales. Oh hell! Apparently I have way more than I thought. <laughs> I give up. Two hellstone. Rest in pepperonis. I don't. I don't even care. All right. So, Pharaoh's mask. Where can I throw you guys? This is why I need to finish my storage. I can throw all this useful stuff here. I. Don't need this. No, door. Stay open. I don't need that. I will just sell it to you. Sell the musket. Alright, so here comes the money. We're actually going to put our money away. And then we're going to see how much we get here from these bags. I'll do the I'll do these two bags first. So another worm scarf, shadow scales, demon ore. Shadow scales. So no pet that that blows, but happens. These bags are annoying because they give me so many things. Any treasure bags and stuff. Okay. Beeswax. Hive wand. Nothing I want. None of the pets and stuff. So I will have to start selling my loot here to this dude. His name Alfred. His name is Alfred. Sell that. That. Unreal. That. We got another Unreal roll, which is good because it's worth more money. Annoying the bee's knees. Yeah, it's annoying when you get that. Uh, sell that. Sell the additional worm scarves. I'll keep the beeswax. I will sell the high wand. Okay, let's open these. Not what I want. Not what I want. I'm just like looking for the pet every time I open this. It's so sad. It's not getting it. It's so sad. Le oh, that was legendary bees knees. I don't believe the one we have has that good of a roll on it. Annoying the bees knees. Yeah. Armored hive pack. Okay, let me get the bees knees out of one of these chests real quick. It's in one of them, right? Should be. 
Nope, door. You stay open. There's a bee's knees here, and so there's a bee's knees in here somewhere. And if I can't find it, well then whatever. Up oh, there it is. Quick bee's knees. So 34 versus 29, just because like the prefixes. Yeah, this is why rerolling is worth its weight in gold. Uh, no. Oh my God! Yes! Yes! Second to the last one too. Oh, that's, a, that's a relief. I'm very happy about that. So, slime slime saddle is still incredibly useful, and I won't be getting rid of it or anything stupid like that. But this is going to be useful for my purposes coming up. I will bank you, sir. I'll go ahead and get out of the piggy bank, and let's open the last one. Oh, I'm so glad we got that. I would have been very upset. Sell all of these. I'm making bank. Bank loot. <laughs> I'm going to sell those shadow scales. So, two platinum, 47 coin, gold coins. So 2.5 basically platinum from all that. That's awesome. That's huge. Fat loot. So, let's quick stack our cash. I want to see my money pile. Oh, it's so, it's so good. It's so impressive. <laughs> I'm happy. Uh, also, tell you what, because I'm going to forget, and I should just do it now. Dear Edmund, give me your arrows. <laughs> just because we're using the bee's knees at the moment. Make sure I have these. And I will top my flares off again. That seems like a good idea. Now, the beeswax. Bye-bye, traveling merchant. Couldn't care less. <laughs> Don't need you in my life at the moment. I'll hold on to the bee's knees for shits and giggles. Might end up using them. So now we don't need to farm Queen Bee anymore. I, I'm very happy about that. I mean, don't get me wrong. The money's great. But I would like to do some other things right now. All right. So now we are capable. Uh, are we ready and willing to go over to the other corruption? I did get I did get the, the Shadow Orb. I mean, let me just go to somewhere that's, like, dark. I mean, I don't know. Like, right here, there's a dark spot. There's no torches. A and you can control it. Same thing with most pets or most uh, light pets, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can control them. The, the Wisp, you can control a lot more, and it moves a lot faster. This one, you can really control, like, the verticality. So, you know, like, w and, w and S, so you can move it up and down. The Wisp, you can move, like, in every direction. Now for the, uh, the Peace Daily Resistance. Oh yeah! So, this is just, this is just the flight bonus from the pet. This isn't me flying. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's so useful. Oh, it's so good. And then, of course, you can slow your flight with it, or your fall with it. You can go down, you can fall fast, or you can hold up and fall slowly. So look how fast I got. Just look how far I got, rather. So that's huge. You can unequip it, of course. Make sure you have a horseshoe, in my opinion, uh, when you're using one of those. Because you could very well off yourself, and not in a good way. <laughs> also, somebody said one of these was too thick. Aha! I, I did screw something up. I know that's a random thing to transition to. Wait, no I didn't. Wait, yes I did. Okay, I, I don't think I went down far enough right here. I have to add another layer. Good catch. Good catch. Let me go ahead and do that real fast. Now, the bottom layer is good. But this layer here was off. So did you see, did you see what was off? Because I totally missed it at first. Because I'm damn sure. Yep, that's right. So this this was missing something. Okay. Feels good to have fixed that. I don't want to delete you. No, that'd be bad. So Ferris clothing, a surprise pyramid. <laughs> Honey goggles. Oh, I'm so happy about these. Oh, they're so useful. So now what I can do is I can check to see if there's any remaining floating islands. And I can also go to the next world. Uh, like the, the world we regenerated. Regen start looking for some balloons. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here on a high note. <laughs> Episode 63, Queen Bee has been slain. We have made bank. We've got the honey goggles. It's been a good, good episode. And not, don't, don't forget the Shadow Orb. I mean, it's not the greatest thing, but it is incredibly useful nonetheless. At the very least, it'll give you guys some light if I forget to light it up. But uh, I'll wrap it up here, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Poke. I'm going to poke your ass, sir.